Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, this is going to be the fourth and last video um, of my playthrough with uh, Barbarian, the Diablo 3 beta. Now before we set off, I want to upgrade all my gear. So I crafted a bunch of stuff. Um, I crafted this axe, it's going to be level 8. But I'm thinking that even though I have this axe, it adds things that I don't really care about, like 10 intellect, um, 3 life after each kill I guess is okay, but and the increased attack speed, but the 10 intellect is kind of wasted, plus the DPS on it is not very good. Um, 18.9 versus 18.2, and then I also have a sickle on, in my second hand. So I'm thinking, uh, mm, probably gonna pass on this one. Uh, if, if the stats were a little bit different on it, I might, might try it out. But, uh, so I do have Lucky Hide Breaches of Thorns, which aren't terrible. Could equip those. Ooh. Fancy. Um, gathering Leather Cuffs of the Hawk, which aren't bad either. And Reptilian Brigandine Coat of the Bear. Which kind of blows, but whatever. So, yeah. Now that I'm all outfit, let us venture. Oh, let us get the quest first and then venture. Leoric's crown has been reforged. Ah, at last. I will crush him and find Right, so he's like, <clears throat> go back to the place where you found me and. Um, yeah go in and kill things, find Leoric and kill him. That's basically what he said. In that many words. So here we go. On our way down. I guess we can take a look at uh, grab any skill. Leap attack. Threatening shout. Battle rage. Mm, increases damage by 20% for 30 seconds. That's actually not bad. Weapon throw, no thanks. Ignore pain. It's kind of like shield wall. That's not very useful either. Uh, I think I'm going to go with leap. Yeah, let's do leap attack. So leap attack is now in my number one spot. I am thinking that I am going to swap these. See this. Your flesh is weak. Oh, that was a machine kind of chain reaction. Have you guys played a machine? Incredible machine? That was a good game. That was a very good game. When we returned from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, my beloved king lost all pretense of sanity. He sealed the walls, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, not enough fury. Oh Jesus, what is this? Well, whatever it is, it's a corpse. Ooh, there's more of it down here. Jesus. Play about the door. So you're probably 13 or 14, and you're watching this video, and you're seeing things getting gibbed into little pieces, but you can't smoke. You, you definitely can drink, and you gotta sneak in your parents' hustlers to look at some boobies. But you can, you can play this, it's no problem. I need fury. Also, if your parents have hustlers, there's a problem. But anyways, so yeah, let us, uh, let us continue.
Opening some corpses, grabbing some gold. Checking out some loose stones. So I can't kill skellies with uh with the wall anymore. So how am I gonna get the achievements for like ten at once? Man, I love, I love this jump. It's crazy. Like, we're talking Charlie Sheen crazy. Look at this. What if we can jump off? Still recharging. Nope. Ah, oh, it's recharging. Doesn't actually do anything. 100% weapon damage to all enemies within 8 yards. It's not too amazing. I will forever live in anguish for my last attempt to honor my king. As we laid him to rest in his burial chamber, he manifested as a hideous skeletal demon. Gorash and my other knights were overcome at once, but I fought on. Gorash was not very good, uh, apparently, at what he did since he was overcome. So this is supposed to be cathedral. Like, have you been to cathedral before? Like, does this do you see any? I don't know. Like, is this a cathedral? This is kind of like you know. I was just in Italy in the summer, and I saw many cathedrals and. I don't remember uh, them looking like this. What whatsoever. What was this? Banner. Not enough fury. I wonder if those dudes get experience. Hell, they spawn and you pwn them, and they give you massive experience, and you just keep like. We're all in them. I'm getting experience. The ancient smile on me. That was pretty funny. Can't spell slaughter without lauder. And lauder is laughter. Is yeah, that's what it is. English is hard. I guess that only works in writing, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright. So, last time I played through, um, the exit was like the last place that I went. It's pretty annoying. And now I wander, cursed by my once beloved king. Evil gnaws at my bones, and I cannot risk putting my beloved sister in danger should I fail to contain that which tears at me. I must venture down into the labyrinth to die alone. So I'm only level 7. It is unlikely that I will reach level 9 by the time I get to Leoric, because I'm plowing through. By plowing... I am being... Pretty literal, given that I have a simple. Back to my mission. Who are you? You will know soon enough. Help me find my gear. I will reward you well. Let's go, bro Chacho. Tell me, what brought you to this infernal place? I come to vanquish the Scotland. As do I. The cultist dies. So this dude is a um, paladin. Down this way. There are my dude. Leap is crazy in this game. Warrior of the Templar Order. 
If it is the Skeleton King you seek, then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. There is no reason we should... I know a Templar can be trusted. Together we fight. Whoa, what's going on? Alright, so this dude's a Templar, and uh, he was being owned, and I rescued him. And he's like, I will help you on your quest. Need more time. He's he's not very good, like at all at anything. And I can't I can't equip him right now because um, he is not yet a mercenary. Well, what do they call him? Follower, I guess. So I actually have to find my way out first, which I believe is this way. Yes, it is. Die. Die. Right. You cannot stand before me. I could think of some better insults than this. Black magic bars our way, but the will of a Templar is stronger. The will of a Templar. Let's see. So leap attack is pretty chill. Hammer of the Ancients. Cleave. So this doesn't actually. Oh, it generates 15 fury. It has a 12 second cooldown. So no, I think I will stick to what I have. Thank you very much. You were a Templar, John Dar. How could you succumb to this? Whoa, what just happened? More fury. Please forgive me. My vision was clouded by the Coven's evil magic. Betrayal can never be forgiven. That's quite a Templar there. Follow me, bro. Thank you for your aid. I, I need fury. you on your hunt for the Skeleton King. But there is one condition. If we find the sacred tomes of my order, they are mine. Agreed. Then onwards we go to fight the Skeleton King. So here it asks you if um, if you want him to join you. And you can choose no, which means that you're going to be playing by yourself. Or you can go yes, uh, at which point you just get him as a follower. So I'm just going to click yes. It is good to fight with you again. And uh, now that I have him... Um, I can actually uh, click here, or I can press F, and I can level up my uh, mercenary. So he has four different uh, ability slots, and you can pick a different ability for each one of these slots. And you can also equip them. So it's a little different from Diablo 2, because in Diablo 2, you are able to give him an armor, a weapon, and a, an offhand, and a helm. Uh, but here, uh, you're I'm only able to give him... Master. A main hand, an off hand, a neck, and uh, two rings. So, and a relic. Uh, I guess eventually at 18. So I have my uh, my javelin and my shield. So I'm gonna go ahead and ah, good. Give these to him. Looks like he likes them. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is garbage. All right, let us go. Cormac. Oh wait, he leveled up. Um, how about a heal? Yes. A useful skill. I wonder if we can respect these guys later. Oh, I guess not. A mighty adversary is before us. So this guy talks a lot. I found. That was quite a mighty adversary. Ooh. Oh. 
just missed it. Alright. So, uh, the goal now is to find my way to King York's tomb. And, uh... I don't know if there is a predetermined way. Thirty-one monsters scaled. That's not bad. I wonder if there's an achievement. It's probably an achievement for having like a fifty or sixty or something. Denied. Man, barbarian is. Yeah, that didn't work very well. This is fall apart in these huge gibs. It's hilarious. It's hilarious and all disturbing. Still recharging. I do! By all that is holy, see this enemy sitting as his glowing yellow. He's immortal. Where is he? You know, I'm thinking in comparison to Diablo 2, there is just. My pack is full. My pack is full. There is just so much gore. I tried to count how many we've killed, but I've lost track. <laughs> there's, uh, there's just so much gore in this game uh, compared to Diablo 2. I'm carrying too much. It is pretty crazy. Okay, I guess you can know. I'm thinking I'm probably going the wrong way. Oh yeah, so see this corpse over here, Dead Adventure. If you see that and you see like skeletons around him, yeah. You can't assume you're gonna get out. Alright. North or south? Ah, uh, let's go south. I'm thinking it's probably You will against my blow. I'm thinking I was probably wrong. What is this? 
Things go flying. I love it. Ooh, a lectern. Oh, Jesus. So I was watching Jon Stewart and I put on pause so I could record this. And apparently it just keeps starting randomly. If you guys notice that ever. You know what? I'm thinking the exit is probably like over here somewhere. And I'm just like making a huge loop around the map like a dumbass. Oh no. The exit's down here. Oh yeah! I'm paper boots. Alright. The crypts. So the crypts are an area where uh, it's not randomly it's not randomly generated. Everything is same every time you play through, at least from what I've seen. Um, and you get your uh, your first encounter with Leora shortly. Oh, this is a cool cutscene that they have here. Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Leon. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Even if you will not. Right, so this dude's like right here is like Donan. And uh he just stabbed the king. Killed him. The king's like WTF mate. <laughs> To my tomb. We shall put you down, Hellspawn. So in this encounter, you gotta kill these, uh, these killers, and as you kill them, these dudes stop spawning because right now they're spawning from all the all the killers. I'm also wondering if like keep the killers alive, if they can actually get experience from these guys. They do get experience, but I mean you get Master overrun. Hell, dog. I don't know. All right, all right. All right. Yes, basically the premises. I miss companions. Before in the beta, uh, they had these crawls of companion. Companion. That uh, you would summon a dude to uh, collect the gold for you, so you wouldn't have to go around and, and run around and get gold. You could just. Ooh. We have just arrived in Tristram, and I must say, I'm a bit dismayed. This place is a backwater filled with serfs and an ancient broken down monastery. Hardly fit for the king of Condorus. I cannot fathom why Lazarus was so intent on this becoming our new seat of power. Alright, so... I am about to encounter the orb. But first I want to go to town and vendor a bunch of crap, because my inventory is full. So I can use this waypoint over here and go ahead and, and go back to town, or I can show you guys what uh, a town portal looks like. So a town portal is basically it's just my dude going. Oh, oh. 
and uh, appearing back in Tristram, which is pretty chill. So they should really add sound effects to uh, summon each Temple. of my items is very special to me but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must yes and I can sell you very many things if I must all right so again I'm leaving all the uh, blue items because I will be disenchanting them later and uh, getting these essences here and then crafting things out of them so uh, one thing I'm also gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and swap cleave to bash because uh, bash is going to be used on King Leoric of course I could do that later and I could um, town portal right before Leoric comes out but I'm just gonna swap now so uh, the cooldown begins in 30 seconds I'm going to keep Hammer of the Ancients because I want to have it for the waves of trash that come out during Leoric. And Leap Attack is actually not going to be very handy, so perhaps I will use something else. Uh, not Weapon Throw. Oh, it has a lot of damage though. Well, the Snare is kind of useless. This looks like a PvP um, ability. Uh, maybe I will do Battle Rage, because Ground Stomp, uh, Ground Stun, Ground Stomp, or Battle Rage? Uh, let's go with Ground Stomp. It's 12 seconds cooldown, so it's not too terrible. Alright, and perhaps I will also swap to a two-handed axe, so you guys can see what this looks like. Wait a second. Then I have two weapons. Where did the other weapon go? Oh. <laughs> That's right. Alright, so yeah. Uh, the Royal Crypts, or I can use the Waypoint to go ahead and go back to the Royal Crypts. Oh, my Town Portal is no longer here. Crazy. Two-handed axe is serious business. All right, Leoric, let's do this. I have five heal or twenty-eight healing potions. You will never defeat me. <laughs> you were defeated the moment you submitted to madness. Anyway. So once you get out here, this is the boss fight basically, so you can't go this way because the bridge is missing, so you have to go to the right. And as you go through here, uh, this door closes and he's like, lol, I'm gonna own you with my skeletons that do like no damage. <laughs> A glorious development. This dude does have a pretty fancy uh, vocabulary. Alright, so here's um, King Leoric. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop him. Piece together. See. Get epilepsy. Alright. I will say, Barbarian is pretty, pretty strong. That's
So there you have it. We have defeated the Diablo 3 beta and uh, completed quests, and you receive 5,250 experience for this. So uh, in beta nowadays, what you do to level up to 13 real quick is you basically uh, you finish this and then you uh, quickly run to this as fast as you can because 5,000 experience is a fair chunk. So you just keep running this as fast as you can to get to 13, which is the maximum level in the beta. So we're gonna go back to town here since there's nothing else to do. And in town, you no longer have to talk to Deckard Kane to identify things. Nowadays, when you get a yellow item, you basically have to right click on it. And he's casting and identifying, which looks really stupid. And then uh, you can well, let's say identify these blobs, see what we're dealing with. Ooh, not bad. 5% magic find. Swap those on. Throw this belt on. Hell yeah, fat loot. And um, what else was I going to say? Oh, right. So now I can show you guys this is blacksmith. Um, blacksmith, talk to him, craft, and salvage all these items that I'm not going to be using. Pants, I don't need that better. Shield, I don't need. Disenchant uh, this. And this. So you can see here, I got a fallen tooth, which is uh, yellow. And now I can talk to uh, the blacksmith, and I can train him. Let's see, he needs four more levels. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and bam, go to your shop. Uh, what that does, the not the level up, but every every time you you um, level up your dude, he gains like more items to craft right here. So uh, that's pretty handy. Uh, a lot of these items I actually can't use in the beta because, as you can see here, it's like required level 14, uh, level 17. So these aren't going to be items that I'm going to be using in the beta or even crafting in the beta. Um, but uh, it, it is possible for you to outfit yourself in magic items, which will let you get through all of uh, normal mode, probably, uh, and probably a bit of nightmare. Uh, so don't fret. Um, you can also craft items for your other classes. If you say you play Barbarian and you don't like it, you can uh, play a Wizard or you can play a Dark Rogue or whatever they call them. Dark Hunter or something. Demon Hunter. Uh, so, yeah. Um, this is the Barbarian. And just one, one other thing I want to show you if, in case you haven't seen this. This is Tristram. Don't touch anything unless you're buying Shut it. I like to keep I spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife. Uh, and I believe that oh, once we are done a... with this, uh, the next course of action is going to be either going back there and opening a gate, or taking this dock down here and this boat and talking to this bro. Sorry, the ferry to Wortham isn't running. Can't take anyone anywhere with all that's happening around here. It's not safe. So, Wartham, I suppose, will be a place that we'll be visiting. Uh, don't know what that is. But I'm sure we'll find out once the game comes out five years from now. Yes, it's been that long. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully you get into the beta, but if you don't, then at least you'll have an idea of what um, you're going to be dealing with once, you, uh, once the game comes out. So, alright, thanks for watching.